What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, we are finally, or say finally, we're only just started, really, uh, about to destroy the Cherokee nations. Although, actually, they do have Florida, so we're not really going to destroy them yet. We've got Savannah under siege, we've got Chicasso under siege. It's pretty much over for them. Um, anyway. Let's take them out. They've got a large army, but it's depleted. So I feel this will be quite a nice, rapid advance. We need to then uh, make sure we turn the region into a proper Western nation. we we'll dismantle any native buildings and replace them with our own. That is the goal there. So let's get cracking. The enemy most, the armed warriors with a couple of, with a few bow units. The gunners are going to deploy there and then they're going to stay limbered up because they're going to get swarmed past by our warriors. By our uh, line infantry, rather. Irregulars, my, they must get irregulars on the right. Native Borgs are on the left. Split our cavalry up a bit more. I mean, this army could do with a bit of livening up. It's quite a fairly standard colonial army. So, deploy the guns and then we'll unlimber them. Probably want to do some searching with our uh, cavalry first. Because they can be anywhere. These units are going to get orders to run, just so they can make it past these gun these guns in double time without getting shelled. Okay, now you can walk. Probably going to focus on the chief's bodyguard. But I am happy to let them fire at will. They've split their fire. Some have gone for the mounted tribal gunners. Excellent shots. I think they all have, actually. Yep, they must have done. There's plenty more where that came from. Spread the cavalry out. They can deploy like in the corners as well of the deployment zone, so you've got to be a bit careful. Got the guns focusing on the chief's bodyguard instead. Yeah, now he's running because he's under fire. Interesting. Being pumped. Bring the cavalry back. So they're going to be somewhere near. Well, they're only in this area, so at least we can advance up fairly safely. There we go. Bone wants to open up on the warriors. So unit of dragoons going to go for the chief's bodyguard. Let's start to fold my cavalry in. So I'm fairly sure they're charging us. Well, they they are. I I let them, which is a bit of a mistake. Pull my. 
cavalry back. So you men charge the warriors, then you men spin around and engage them yourself. Where's my general? Get in here, cavalry. Means you guys are also gonna join some of the melee combat. There you go. You guys collectively are gonna chew up some of this enemy cavalry. Change our We'll cease fire our guns because the situation's too fluid. Oh, native bowmen. Get all my guns to focus on you. You push in, you push in. and charge into the back of the warrior society come on keep attacking them when our native bow units are routing it's not surprising it is a skirmish unit versus a cavalry unit we've turned around the ninth light horse Bowmen are routing. Nice. Come on, General. Hit the native warriors. You men hit the bowmen. No, don't shoot them. Charge them. You men chase down the medicine man. Yeah, but it looks like that's a complete enemy collapse. Excellent. Nice. So that's one Cherokee city taken care of. The next one is inland. It will open up a large front line for us against the. Uh, the Louisianans. Let's demolish their capital, replenish our troops. Actually, I may continue to siege here, actually, so I can get my other infantry in position. You may even be able to leave Michigan Territory, and you can, so... Drive you forward, threaten the enemy. Upgrade a farm. The you have infantry being recruited here that will catch up. Nice, nice, nice. And some from the north, or well, that's cavalry. So they will catch up pretty rapidly. Let's have a look up here. Get my priests into the northwest territories. We can start taxing them now. Church was only 10 turns away. Excellent. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep sieging Chikasa. So I can use, so I can deploy these armies against this northern Louisiana force and attack uh, Upper Louisiana. I mean, I'm sure we'll be pushed. Hey, Theodore. I'm sure we'll be pushed by more Louisiana armies in the south anyway, but we'll deal with that in due course. In terms of tech... Nothing on the horizon. 84,000. Get rid of our head of government. Oh, same guy. Well, different, well, effectively, same capabilities. Okay, let's hit it in Austria appears to be readying another, another army to land on the Italian coast. That's two near Rome. And they've taken it. 
Austria's taken Rome. Be curious to see how that how that develops. Spain's pulled true pulled the ships out of the one of our trade zones. Prussia's being Prussia. The Ottomans just don't really have a purpose anymore. And now Russia is going to start cause the game to chug. But oh, 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 Russia's sieging Berlin. Very interesting. Oh yeah, they're trying to run around us. They can do it for now because we don't have any movement points or any movement left. Uh, however, we will have movement imminently. I do need to move and take Malta, free up that naval force. Okay, let's get let's get an army ready to do that, or oh, recruit provincial cavalry general Ronaldo de Nove. Very good, excellent. So he's going to take position here. And recruit some cavalry. Household. How many? What's the limit of household cavalry? Eight. Yeah. Cabina and Lancer Guards. Heavy Horse Guard Artillery. Heavy Horse Howitzer Artillery. No, we don't really need three howitzers, but we can get some extra guns. Dragoons, Mikale, Gorillas. Get some Gorillas. Cool. So I'll start recruiting them. Actually, we could use the Force and Tuners. In which case, I forgot about the Force and Tuners. So let's take this fifth rate across. Can you leave? You can. I may fortify Tuners. You men land. Land off of Valletta. This rate. Get into Safaki. Do some upgrades. How's the Algiers Islamic population? They're resisting us slowly, but we will get there. Upgrade this dry dock. Got a lot of stuff we we can upgrade, but we've got to kind of focus on the Americas for now. Lose has grown. So let's take a brig, deploy them down south. Got some farms that can be upgraded to great estates. Upgrade plantations. Ooh, 10 grand for a global trading company. That's a bit much for now. Let's get some of these cheaper buildings upgraded because they're so we can we can cover our we can spread our wealth a bit more. Savannah, get some magistrate. And upgrade the roads. The army is replenishing. We could probably just push and take St. Augustine, but I'm not going to do that. My race is going to head west because as soon as I take Florida, suddenly it's, it's this bottleneck that the chair that the um, Louisianans can advance through. They can advance through all the way through here as well. Um, but you men advance up into that. I want to advance here and push them, but it looks like they have nothing of an army anyway. Incredibly depleted army, that is. So hopefully we can just annihilate this army in one go. That will make the allow the northern force pushing down from Michigan uh, a clear run. Then this army can head southwest to threaten New Orleans. And then we can jump on the Pueblo nations. Finally. I mean... Field artillery is probably not going to get much use. Split my infantry into two forces. They're going to straddle the guns and then merge some distance in front of them. Keep my skirmishes together. 
split my cavalry, including my general, because we've got plenty of opportunities to annihilate enemies. I mean, that's not all they've got, but the effective result is the same. They've not got very many men at all. They've gone for high numbers of troops they cannot sustain. Howitzers can just buy a round shot. We're not necessarily after getting huge amounts of kills with carcass shot. I mean, look, I can even I could just bayonet charge them because look at them. They got nothing. I'm ready. These are the first and second foot guards storming up to take you. Charge us if you wish. We do not care. God, I love the Marines. Here they come. They've slowed up, so we can now get some shots off. Cavalry push around the rear. You attack them, you attack the light cavalry. I mean, yeah, very, very weak. They've got more troops somewhere. They had a whole army of depleted infantry. And they're hiding somewhere. Yeah, there go the first light horse. They'll probably ex reveal themselves once they get once most of their army is annihilated, they'll have no choice but to move. Ah! There's some of them back near where the general lives. Where regulars are picking them off as they try to advance. I mean, why am I not doing this? The enemy, there's the enemy remains. Swarm, swarm, attack the pattern alpha. Everyone else focus on chasing down and destroying some of these enemy units. the like just the cavalry we're not bothered about trying to kill cavalry just go for their infantry i mean there's one unit left that's going to clash with our lines and they're getting us getting a few bow kills but i don't really mind if they get bow kills excellent A, a general off. So go for this one guy, this individual colonial line unit guy first, then go after the general. Okay, it's effectively just quite a sped up. Come on, four, three.
Excellent. Mowing down the native bowmen. Actually, go for this native warrior. See if we can kill him before he escapes. Because he's only one guy. Sometimes you right click. Yeah, there we go. Because they, they turn and fight. Go after the Coureur de Bois. Because everyone else is running around. General is falling. Yeah, very much did not want my general to fight that battle. Chiefly because they could get a cheap shot on my general, and considering their command is already just annihilated. It seemed like a waste. Two Coeur de Bois here. Yeah, they're all going to they're going to escape. The last unit on the field is the remnants of their General's bodyguard. But they are going to escape as well. Decisive victory, that's always what you want to see. Hopefully the stack disappears. Because they've lost almost all of their men. Dispatch the cavalry. Because yeah. that small unit could do disproportionate amounts of damage just from raiding our territories. So you're going to push alongside this side of the river. And you're going to look to merge. You are going to maybe wait for these two units to merge. I mean, it's mostly Teleco that we're running out of, we don't have good roads for, but we're starting to convert. Well, actually, they're already. Oh, they're 100 in Catholic anyway. Onward to Cherokee. Onward to Chikasa, rather. So you're okay. You're upgrading. You're going to wait one turn to pick up some infantry. We still have more infantry on the way, but they can follow. Okay, let's get some farm upgrades done, because they're cheap. Actually, maybe let's hop back to Europe, because we've still got some worthwhile buildings to upgrade. Let's upgrade... The administration building in Brussels. Let's upgrade not the theatres. Maybe the military academy? If we're relying on... If Tunis is going to be our main base in the, quote, eastern Mediterranean, then it would be good to have a better military production capability there. Okay, let's hit N10. More reinforcements are making their way over to the Ameri to the uh, the Portuguese interior because now this is New Portugal. Austria appears to are they going to invade? Are they going to? They've taken Damascus. They've amphibiously assaulted in the Middle East and they've taken Damascus. That's fascinating. Because you never see the AI do this. Never, ever, ever. And I think they might be taking chunks out of Russia as well. In which case, then, I'm fine. Austria, expand. I love it. Because Austria normally gets annihilated fairly early on. And I'm glad they aren't. Moreover, I'm glad they're actually doing stuff. Question is, will Russia take Berlin? No, Russia. We, if we make peace, we make peace on equal terms. No. No Gibraltar for you. I will not give you anything for peace, Russia. I am telling you that now. Right. 
Sweden's kind of stuck in the middle. Louisiana, it looks like they, they're really struggling. I suppose if we declare on the Pueblo Nations, that may draw us into war with Morocco. No, Mor no Morocco is protector of Dagestan, not, not Georgia, like the Pueblo Nations are. Hey, the Cherokee is uh, sallying outside of Chikasa. Let's take them out. Yeah, the, the end is nearly here for any sort of autonomy or independence the Americans have. We need to push up against the Pueblo Nations and take out the Inuit to the northeast. But then that will be the entire Americas under Portuguese control. They'll have let us take it. So my guns deploy up on the high hill here. Form up our battle line. Tearsmen here. Militiamen on the left. With some grenadiers for backup. Skirmish cavalry. Melee cavalry. Right. You want to form up, engage them with musket fire. To be honest, it looks like they've not got much of a presence on this flank, so let's wrap our men around. Guns are opening up, but we will be formed up, ready to receive their initial charge. Make ready, present, and fire. Bowmen have taken a volley. May get some friendly fire here. Fire it will off. Friendly fire, uh, fireball on, so then they will stop. They will reload the front rank. Hit the Native American warriors because they are exposed. Skirmishing the armed tribesmen. this they're pushing our militia flank and that's fine our militia has plenty of reinforcements general's bodyguard is joining our cavalry battle i'm trying to away ring okay now it could get a bit tricky Okay, reform the flank. You men get over here. Skirmishers push past the fight. Colonial line get in here. You men push around the rear. Support the light cavalry. Oh, you're getting friendly again. It's because these guys are shooting through the unit. You made the garrison native bowman shatter. Good. Pull back to the line. Oh, there we go. Cavalry pursue. Line infantry is surplus to requirements. Go for the chief's bodyguard. Mm 
you meant silence your muskets and charge down the armed tribesmen. men might push ahead of the cavalry combat in the event that someone comes back. Oh, that unit of armed tribesmen's gone. Let our cavalry push on largely. Oh, yeah, they've routed, so you can also push on. Cease fire the guns. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Nice. Excellent. More territory for our people. Fear not. We will be a benevolent power. We will not cause any problems. Yeah, you can raid if you like. Jared Watts is keeping you bottled up in the Baltic. So that's really interesting. They must have had an exposed port, marched straight up and took it. So let's see how the Ottomans deal with that. Let's land. Okay, let's get, get the industry really fired up because we've got quite a good economy. Well, I was going to say for our size, actually, our size. We're, here, we're, we're, we're quite a big empire now. You begin to convert Chikasa. Build the mines. Let's get the, get the infrastructure going. So the new men are going to march on St. Augustine. So you better check. Are you happy with that? You are happy with that. Good. You were going to advance towards Upper Louisiana. Ooh, the infantry still within range. Okay, you men get an order to advance down to New Orleans. Okay, now you guys with that strength can push on. I want an extra unit of line infantry, especially interesting line infantry. slightly quicker route but we don't have the infrastructure to really speed it up um but i suppose we better do this let's destroy the cherokee destroy the cherokee then i want to take valletta and secure that naval base for our navy so then i suppose if we do declare war if austria does declare war on us which they will eventually then Rome will be our desired target. Troll the guns up to the hill. And then we got our flanking force. Almost all the cavalry is going to be back here. Good. Let's haul the guns up on top of the slope here. It's a bit of a vulnerability because we're having to trawl our guns up fairly close to enemy fire. Infantry get into the woods. The cavalry just stay on the move. It's going to be important. Ooh, all right, okay, hold on. Chief's bodyguards pushing up. Don't like the idea of deploying my infantry so deep. Again, exposed to gunfire from the walls. 
Yeah, like that. And limber. I'm playing this on I'm playing this on fast mode just because I want to get my get my walls breached. You fired at the wrong thing entirely. Aim at that section of the wall. I may actually push my offensive force at the back up now. Human reload. This is potentially a bit scary because they've got lots of armed tribesmen in the centre, but I'm fairly sure the arch native warriors are armed tribesmen rather than medicine men and so on. Keep firing. I mean, if we can secure a foothold on the wall, I'm definitely going to take it. Get my skirmishes on the wall first. Where's my cavalry back here, my dragoons? There's a warrior, so there is a warrior society unit, but I'm hoping I can... Okay, cavalry, make ready. Maybe send a cavalry unit around here. Secure the walls. So I can knock out this wall. I like to knock a hole in this one as well. There go. Dragoons go for the chief's bodyguard. It's a bit of a cheap shot, but I'll take it. Unsurprisingly, men are routing. I'm sure they'll come back because they've not lost many men. But again, it's just the the morale impact to bring you guys down here. Here is my general. I mean, look, this, this, my, this, okay, this attack may not go quite according to plan. Cavalry broke from that. My, let's see if my gunners. I want to fast forward. I want to get my gunners to reload. The combat in the back is going badly wrong, but I want to see if they can fire at the. No, they don't. I was hoping they'd fire at. this. I'm 
Oh, see, I knew you'd come back. Secure this gate. I suppose really I need to be storming. Need to be storming the uh, gate at the same time. Squeezing from all sides. After the bows, maybe try get you guys off the wall as well. You've done your job. Keep them focused. Maybe you men start the timer. my bowmen really on here to start the timer. Ideally when some of those guys break through, just give you guys orders to run through the combat. Drum's bodyguards reset the clock. go after the general's bodyguard specifically. Okay, right, you've effectively done your job. Just run through. Their job is to be a breakwater. Gunners cease fire. Get through. And this unit get through over here. I'm gonna go bog them down. Bog them down. Gonna be a blocking force over on that side. Get my dragoons over into the main combat. One of you men keep fighting the bowmen just so they don't screw us over. Let's get my general in here as well. Don't walk, run! That's the enemy body. That's the enemy killed. Excellent. They just can't kill us fast enough. Bad luck, old bean. <laughs> to salvage a win from that because that was looking really dodgy Whew. that was looking really dodgy to be honest i kind of forgot they had walls i just went oh okay feel battle cool and didn't really think about it so you guys can leave florida you will recruit some reinforcements 
So what we're going to do is we're going to combine some of our units. Excellent. So you're going to recruit <clears throat> two howitzers. Two American infantry mercenaries. Two marines. Oh no, you're not. Two, two, five. Okay, right. I can only recruit five units. And let's get a unit of cuirassier down here. Excellent. So, sugar or coffee? We're not going to really look at prices. We're going to look at production. And our coffee production is lacking compared to sugar. Cotton and tobacco. Cotton it is. Okay, your infrastructure is up, being upgraded, as is yours. Let's destroy the farm here. Let's, not, let's destroy the fishery, but I'm expecting it to not be around for too long. Let's infiltrate New Orleans. Oh, that's the call and dogs. Okay, let's get some upgrades. Going to be pricey. Some of these are top tier industries. Okay. I don't get the theatre yet. Um, hmm. Got a gunnery school for tuners. And Duarte, Duarte, Duarte Martins. Let's attack Valletta and secure a very very good strategic position for our navy in the central mediterranean so this is going to be a bit more conventional we've got our artillery we've got our quick line well not quick line carcass shot howitzers it's going to be more like a more like a traditional siege they do have their navy that we could have captured but i'm not i'm not super bothered about maximizing my my naval shenanigans against britain So, the Grenadier is going to lead three infantry units into two breaches. A fusiliers and guerrillas are going to support opportunistically. The cavalry is just going to hold back. Go for the fort, you men go for the centre. Well, oh, that's round shot. I've got you selected, so that's not going to be super useful. No wonder you were all in range. Just quick line whatever targets are the most convenient. for a turn fire. They appear to be focusing on my Grenadier Guard Regiment. Not a bad decision because they're going to want to weaken them prior to the assault. But they've kind of accepted the assault is going to happen. Darker shot inbound. Not many kills there. Aha. A Karka shot aim at the 16th. Yeah, once we've knocked down this wall, we're going to knock down this wall as well because the, the that gun battery can fire at it. Oh, you took you took a man's head off. You devilish rogues. few garrison guards. Ooh, 
Oh, excellent. Lots of casualties there. Soon once they start to gather to protect a breach, that's when we'll really start to get them with carcass shot. Look at these guys' moustaches. <laughs> They're all livid. <laughs> they are so done. Sixty-five percent. Horse artillery dragoons. Yeah, we're getting some kills with carcass shot, just not a not a huge amount. So let's speed up time. Till we get our breach and the enemy attempt to defend it. Once we knock down one of these walls, that's when they'll really start to deploy to protect it. The gunners attack this section, and they should be able to pivot and attack it, because it's definitely within their arc of fire. Yeah, there we go. Pivot the guns. Ooh, Karka shot's done some glorious work here. Yeah, the fourth are down to three men, the ninth down to 137. Yeah, it's safe to say, let's pick pick different targets, and then this formation can advance, maybe at speed because they've got to run past a gun battery. Oh, you're going to kill someone. Quick, fire! Oh, you lucky swines. Points us away. Perfect. Mm, mortars. Pull back until we're ready to actually attack rather than losing men unnecessarily to mortars. Set one howitzer to quick light or to carcass shot the the area where the mortars are. Should be out of range. Yes we are. And the next foot artillery fire comes in. We should just, just do a lot of damage to the 8th regiment. You're 50%. Why are you 50% not collapsed? Okay, we've knocked out one mortar. We've killed one crewman. Killing some members of the general staff. Sadly, it's not possible to trap all these guys on the wall because even when you destroy this bastion, this walkway is still safe. Oh no, it's 100% till it's oh, destroyed, obviously. I'm an idiot. Watch where you're standing, matey. Don't want to fall. Okay, let's speed up time again. Ooh, got some cavalry to the rear. That's nice. 
with two crewmen. Yeah, when we attack, we're going to need to do it at once, so their so their mortars can't focus on any one area. That's the goal. Like now. So I want to send my fusiliers and other troops around the flank. Now you might have to advance, and as we're advancing, both my howitzers are going to cock a shot the mortar. Suppress it. That's another view of the crew dealt with. They're only manning two mortars now, so that's something. It's a wild miss. This one might be good. No, nope, not far enough. The enemy, uh... The enemy are quite strong in this breach, so we're going to deploy and fire upon it. the morale impact more than anything that's what does it so if I just click fire at will for you what do you do because sometimes they're able to pick targets out oh here we go Get the cavalry up, make sure the carbine carabine is a fire it will off. And now they're outside of the walls, they are more susceptible to routing. As in they may actually rout. Engaging the provincial militia. I mean, we killed almost everyone except for. Well, I guess the general's not in that group. I, I want to get my men up on the walls as quickly as I can. To be honest, you're ripe for a push. I would like this militia to break. Well, I can get my gunners to attack ground here in front of the breach. Just a second. Yeah, attack ground just in front of the breach. We are lobbing shells over our troops. Okay, let's deploy this 72nd in the breach as well. Cease fire the artillery, because that's the unit that's the most vulnerable. The 25th. No! Fusiliers. I see, I hate this, what the Empire AI sometimes. They go, well, the best way to get in is through the hole in the wall, isn't it? And you're like, yes, it is, but don't use it. OK, 
the infantry form up again, cavalry form up again. You men get orders to run through the combat. That goes the mortar business. Mortar's on firing anymore. Just round shot their artillery. See what I want is for you guys to man the walls. Gorillas to secure the gatehouse. Shattered, shattered, shattered. So then none of these guys are coming back. That's pretty good. Yep, now they're engaging us on the wall. That's fine. But these guys step up to the fire step and pour fire into the 16th. That's going to be pretty slick. You can fire at will upon the enemy that can't decide which direction they want to run. So we want to go this way. No, we want to go this way. So you make ready and engage the knights. 71st advance towards the central square. Leave the grenadiers to do the fighting. There you go. Fire at will. Position on the fire step and use your superior musketry to engage the enemy. Come on, everyone, get into position. Form square. There we go. Now they're opening up partially. Secure the gatehouse. Let's get my cavalry through here. fire at will. Just put a volley into those cavalrymen. Okay, it's no longer fire at will. How it says cease fire. Now's the time. Into the breach. So you men line up to engage the sixth. More to how it's just ceasefire. We destroy the enemy. General. Oh, these poor devils. 13 of them left and they're still holding. They engage the regiment of foot. The human fire at will. No, shoot at them. gun crew I think that's going to be pretty rapid breakdown come on kill that last gunner and take the central square 
everyone's engaging the 6th. There's one man left here on the 9th. He's going to experience death by a firing squad. Well, they're shooting at us. And they're shooting over here instead. You all missed. Second rank. Oh, you interfered with my firing drills. Send him a carabiner. Charge. Okay, he's finally dead. You may push up the side. Let's put the sixth under more threats. I mean, they are shooting at you, so... It's a fair cop. Hey, garrison, militia. How dare you. Yep, don't worry about the fight. Usually is. You're not going to be fighting, oh no. Although well, you may run over here. To engage that militia unit. Not that you're gonna get there in time. You men secure the command HQ. And the morale impact of defending a garrison is so strong. All shattered. There we go. Their morale finally broke, just when they lost the city anyway. Well, that's Valletta secured. For our empire. Now we have our secure naval base. And Britain is defeated. Go on, Susa. Get into Marsha Slock. Let's destroy the military governor's barracks. It's going to take a bit of extra time to replenish our army. Um, but I believe that's likely to be it for this episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. We've made some good progress today. And I'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Portugal. Cheers, everyone.